Hello everyone. Today we will do some practice writing files and reading files. The thing that we are going to do is we are going to basically do a word count. We'll read a file and create a table which will be the first column uh, would be the, the word and uh, the next column would be uh, the corresponding counts in the in a given text so the text is uh, more speech this is my text uh, so here if you look at we have some you know quotations and uh, it is attached to the word so we have to do some cleanup first thing of course is to uh, basically um, uh, basically we are going to read it right so what we do we say maybe text equal to open so we have seen this before we can just read that and then when the default is reading as you know uh, and now we need to make it into words one of the ways we can use a string um, method the text is now in the form of a string right i can just use a stray, uh, string method which will basically split my uh text into words and uh, but all those then you know, are strange uh, quotations they will remain there so we have to clean it up plus two so words equal to basically text or split so you know if we look at the words it is all these words so, but you see here i have this dart you know uh, attached to so we'll do a cleanup so we'll run through the uh, this list this is the list now now I can run through the list and if I create a list of punctuation marks which I want to remove I can go through that and check in each every word and then remove using the um, uh, and remove it and then uh, I can and then I can uh, and put it in a clean uh, list right so I what do we say we say we can create as a clean is my this is my new list and so i will go for maybe word in so first of all in words right so words words is this uh, uh this is our words uh the split dictionary right the split so we uh, we created a uh, we we created we splitted the text into words and now I can uh, we are going to say for say for punctuation in this so this is if you have more you can create maybe there may be a for example a semicolon I didn't check if you can you could check it and make it better and for each punctuation what I'm going to do is so first I'm gonna take the word right I'm gonna make it into a list because uh, there was a quotation wrong quotation so we made into a list because on I cannot remove on a if I take a word the on a string there is no remove method strings are immutable so I made into words becomes now each of the letters and now I can say uh, word dot remove punctuation and uh, so now uh, so each and every punctuation I am going to remove from the word and now i can once i remove i can basically uh attach it into the uh we can put it in the clean right i can say clean and i need to now since the word is in the form of a, um, in the form of a list i can get it back i can say word equal to we'll use the join method so that from the list i can get the word back and now I can say, uh, now I can put it into the append into the clean. I can say word clean dot append word. Here, uh, one thing we can do is that um, we can, for example, if you don't want to count something like a two, and if you can only interested in not uh, any uh, like you know I and two and you know all the or if you want if you only want to care about the important words. We can create something like stop words, for example, 
and then go through them and remove them so we can check only append if if the word is not in that list right so i say um, if word not in stop words right so uh, here this error is simply because uh, when I am doing this uh, suppose this list here we are not this may this punctuation may not be there and I'm trying to remove I either I can put a try and catch it or I can say if punch punctuation in word right Now let us look at our uh, clean if so see the the dart from the goal has been removed so we have cleaned up our uh, we have a clean list of words there might be still something hanging around so we may have to improve and check it back and you know look for the uh, punctuation marks or you can create a big punctuation or there is itself a module called stop words and you know or you may be able to handle it so now the next thing is to basically count it so we can do go through the each of the words in the clean word and uh, you can use the list uh, count method right and so for word in clean i can um, i can now create a dictionary and save my word uh, count as a key value pair right i can say counts is an empty dictionary and now what we're going to do is simply i can say um, counts of right word equal to i can uh, basically uh, i can do is uh, using the dictionary method i can do right i can just uh, this basically what does it does is if the word is in the if word is suppose the first word is say maybe goal if now i'm first time encountering the word is not there so if, if i try to get the word number of counts which is not there so it may create error but this method in particular get i can put a default value if the word is not there i get zero so next time so i'm going through every word and every time i encounter the word i increase its count by one and the first time i just create my key that's it so that's one this is one way so i can look at counts so i get all the you know counts of the words and then we can also uh, we can also um, do is that we can we could do instead of doing this way we can also use the list as a count method right so i can say um i can just count through you know so i can say counts dot count right word i can use that you know and uh, i can just simply put counts of word equal to that and uh, but uh, but we in this case counts will cal cal automatically one shot boom it calculated the whole number so now i have to skip it right i can say if word not in counts in the key if the word is not already there then we create it otherwise just skip it if already we put it we don't have to you know what suppose first time it occurs the word goal they already counted the whole number numbers in the list so we can uh so this is not the thing clean right so the clean is our clean is our, our list so now uh if you let's so we have the yeah, same idea but uh, in different ways one we use the dictionary get method and here we use the uh, we counted uh, using the count of a list so now we'll just create a nice output right so we can say for example I can say for key value in no, we have seen this right iterators um, so now I got the key values count and Thing. 
and let us create for example say s equal to we can create a line right and we can say uh, we'll format it nicely center it maybe 15 or something like that depending we can change it and then another line and then we'll use our counts the value is a uh, a string sorry while value is an integer so we can make it as a we can make it as a string and then a little bit less and then and we'll just print it so we get this nice looking beautiful table and there's still a lot of words like in uh, as you know so we could remove that and make it better and also if there is capital letters you may have to consider using the lower and then compare and count you know so that's another thing to improve the code which you could do it uh, and now so this is not the win. we would like to put it in a file right so i one way we will can do it f equal to i can say open maybe word word count dot text right and i need to write it in that and then i could say um instead of doing like that if i do we can use context managers okay uh so we if i say with open this as f and then but this will do it it will open the file for us and i don't have to worry consciously to do make sure that the file is closed you know some is very important to close the file it may create errors there are buffering problems we you know so now so this will make sure that the file is already closed now i can use that here and just say f dot right so here i'm going to put this new line character explicitly because you know that in print um there is it already supplies the end default the for the end keyword is a new line right so now let us see now if i say more word count so you see it is putting that thing in the file too so here there's another thing that you could use rather than doing here i could also write it using print itself i could do file there's a file keyword in print one of the arguments for file say so default at the moment the default is the system dot std dot out the output whatever the command line prompt is there i can just f i can put f and now uh, since print as i said is already default is new line right we don't have to do this so now I, since i used write it's already overwritten so i didn't change the file name so it is overwritten so i can say more word count so it's already printed everything there so as i said in the print you know the default is there's an end is default so i don't have to supply that that's what i was saying which we already seen many times we experimented with the print right uh so now since this is one way of saving your data in a file we you see i already seen the pickle right suppose you have a gigantic file and uh, uh you you want to save the data you don't want to go through the whole cleaning process again you may have laboriously done it and you want to just read it back and you can use pickle as you know which we have already discussed thank you very much for watching